The date, November 9th, a crisp morning in Berkeley, California, home of the free speech movement. The students here usually meet in Evans Hall, but today they meet outdoors to join the Occupy Cal movement. While the teachouts before the protests were calm, the crowd grew on Sproul and transformed into one of the biggest movements Cal has seen in the past two years. It's really a statement more about the failure between society and the state that we're experiencing in this country. A protest will give us a chance to gather our forces, to show our anger, to feel our numbers and to begin to get organized. This movement is in part sparked by the proposed $2.5 billion in new cuts scheduled for December, which is to be discussed next week at the UC Board of Regents meeting. At noon, around 1,000 protesters convened for a rally. <laughs> The public school system needs to remain public, needs to remain uh, accessible to the public. Uh, and there's an equity issue. Prepared for the worst, police presence was certainly apparent as they monitored the campus and surrounding areas. The protesters then marched down Telegraph to the Bank of America, a recurring symbol in the Occupy movements. Last week, CalTV captured the Occupy Oakland protesters in the Financial District, where they continued with this theme of confronting major banks and institutions. At around 3, some violence ensued after protesters voted to illegally camp out on Sproul. At least five students were arrested by the police. Students attempted to set up tents, despite receiving Chancellor Burgenow's email explicitly forbidding the encampment. Later in the night, 32 more arrests were made because of continued altercations between students and police. Who saw what happened? Who saw what happened here? He got beaten by the cops. What does it look like happened? He was beaten, viciously beaten. What happened? Exactly, what happened? Did you see it? He got what happened to you? What happened to you? Okay. you okay, I got like f***ing whacked like 10 times. We hit him. We hit him. He got whacked. He got whacked 10 times with a baton. He thinks he broke his ribs. Our cameras are still on the scene and report that students will remain there until their demands are met and are planning another university-wide strike for next Wednesday in light of the UC Regents meeting. For CalTV, this is Amanda Vigil.